Hey there piano girls and piano boys, welcome to part 6 of my tutorial for Una Mattina by Ludovica and Ari, the extended version. If you haven't watched the first 5 parts of my Una Mattina tutorial, here's a link for that. And if you have, then let's see what we're going to learn in this part. Okay, so this part is a little bit tricky. Every bar starts with one or two notes on the left hand. The first one is C and G with your left hand. Your right hand then plays D up here and then E and C up here together. So like this. Then one note with your left hand is added to those two notes on the right hand, or three notes. And there is this C. So instead of playing this, you play C, D, and then E and C. Okay, so again. Now you do this four times, and on the fourth time, from E and C up here, you will go down one note back to D. So it will sound like this. Now this pattern continues for a while. After you've played this, your left hand will again start this bar with two notes, only instead of playing C and G, you will go down one note with your pinky to B and G. And your right hand will not play D and then E and C, but you will play D and then E and B. Alright? Then the note that comes in with the left hand is not gonna be C, but B. So like this. And then you go back to D again, like before. Okay, let's listen to all of that once more. So basically all the C's become B's. From here you go down to B, from here you go down to B, and your left hand also plays B instead of C. Alright, maybe you can remember it like that easily. For the next bar, your left hand will move from B and G down to A and E, down here. And your right hand will play C and E and B, alright? 
And the third note that comes in with your left hand is going to be A. All right? So those notes. That's A minor, I think. Okay, so let's see what it sounds like. First, your left hand comes in with A and E down here. Then your right hand plays C and E and B. And then the third note of your left hand comes in this A up here. So it will sound like this. Now there's a little change in this bar because the fourth time you play E and B, you will go down to E and A, then you will go back to E and B, play this three times, and then E and A twice again. I know this sounds pretty complicated, but you play E and B three times, then E and A once, then E and B three times again, and then E and A twice. So like this. Let's listen to what it sounds like then. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And you go back to C again as a last note. That always repeats itself. Go up. And for the last time, you go back down again. Let's listen to it once more without me counting. Okay, and now it starts from the beginning again. You start on C and G again. But the fourth time you play it, instead of playing E and C, you will go up one note with your pinky to E and D just once and then you go back to E and C. So like this. Then you go down to B and G again. And again, on the fourth time you play D and B, you will go up one note with your pinky to D and C. So like this. So again, from the second time you play C major. Okay, so now after you've played B and G the second time, with your left hand, you will go up to D and A. And with your right hand, you will play C and D and A. Like this. And now, the third note that usually comes in with your left hand is just gonna be A again. Okay? So like this. Then you go down with your left hand to D and G and with your right hand you will play B and C and A. 
And again, the third note that usually comes in with your left hand is going to be G. So like this. So again, first like this. Okay, so let's start again from the first repetition. Okay, so now I'll play the whole thing for you once slowly and then one time in normal speed. Okay, now once more in normal speed. that was it for part six of my tutorial here's a link to part seven it'll come out next weekend and until then subscribe to my channel so you'll see when the next part is coming out and also go ahead and like my facebook fan page so you'll see all the updates and news about my channel what is happening and what i'm gonna do next again thank you for watching and i'll see you in part seven